Hello everybody and welcome to the channel and after a while it is time for another video. Today we're going to be looking at my winter 2022 set predictions. This is updated since my last couple so we have some new sets but also I have some important information down below in the comments so make sure to check that out. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this video smash the subscribe button as well as the like button so more people can see this video. But without further ado let's get into the video. First up is the 501st Y-Wing. I think this set is really, really cool, and LEGO has been delaying this for too long, and it is a must-make. I think this set should retail for $60 or so, anything more, and it is a bit much, but with LEGO's price increases, who knows, they could charge $100 for it, and well, I'd probably still buy it. But anyway, here's some custom concepts. I believe these are from Rebu Republic Bricks, so thank you for the ideas, but I think we haven't gotten a Clone Wars Y-Wing in a long, long time. And this is LEGO's perfect chance to make it. Here's the picture from Season 7 of the Clone Wars. There's enough reference detail for them to make this set. And the minifigures, I think, should definitely include either Jesse or Captain Rex. Or even better, both of them. Alright, next up here is a Corporate Alliance tank droid. It has been a long time since we've gotten a set similar to this, whether it be the Hailfire droid or the Homing Spider droid, but I think this set is a must-make. It could look like this, which is some concept art I found, and could sell for $40, and if they really want to stretch it, 50 bucks. They made the Republic fighter tank, but it's been a while since you've got anything on the droid side. For the minifigures, I would like to see some Kashyyyk scouts. It has been a long time since you've gotten them, and I think they'd make a perfect fit. LEGO has been making all their Clone Wars sets army builders now whether it be the ATTE or the fighter tank so I'd like to see these clones we could also get a new and improved commander Gree, which I would definitely not say no to I think this could be a really really cool set for 40 or 50 dollars but let's move on to the next one and next up, I would like to see a bigger transport just like the ATTE. Here's a picture of an ATOT with 327th. I think that could be really, really cool. And as well as the Super Battle Droids, which we haven't gotten in a long time. And I think we need badly. Another idea is this here, the Landing Craft Separatist thing. A droid army builder I think we need has been a such a long time. The last one, I believe, is the Naboo one with Jar Jar and all those people. And I think it could be really, really cool that, that we get a droid army builder. They just don't make these often. And I think droids are pretty underrated. But with that being said, these are just my quick breakdowns of the set predictions. I'll do a longer, like, five to seven minute video later on this with more detail and more sets to go over. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. It means a lot to me. And I hope I'll see you guys again in the next video.